Hi guys doing and welcome to another Arc Garage video. First of all, we reached almost 7,000 subscribers and I just want to thank you all for support. To help us grow even further, make sure to hit like, share and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY automatic opening boot lid and the process is fairly simple as long as you got the right tools. This is actually possible to do on a lot of cars as long as you got enough space uh, from the strut in the closed position and this little plastic piece which mounts on the boot lid. Uh, one more thing, uh, the boot lid also has to be light enough for the spring to push it open. I'm uh, starting with this spring right here which I got at the hardware store. Uh, I'll put some tape over the ends so the spring doesn't move as much when I cut it with the angle grinder. As I said I'm gonna cut the ends off uh, since they are a bit more refined. While I got some of the basic measurements it's still gonna be trial and error since uh, I'm not sure uh, how long the springs have to be. I'm gonna move on to the cutting part. I did uh, some basic testing, the length seems to be on point, I'm gonna paint them and we're gonna go over the measurements. Alright, uh, I don't know how well can you see this, uh, the width of the spring is uh, 17 millimeters. The uh, overall length is uh, 30 millimeters. I'm gonna remove the struts, all you need is a mid-sized flathead screwdriver, push this uh, metal piece out and pull the strut off. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. I'm uh, moving on to the final assembly. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unscrew this uh, plastic piece. I'm going to take uh, this uh, rubber wash right here and I'm going to put it onto the strut first. It's going to prevent the uh, spring from uh, sliding down every time the boot opens. Now I'm going to put the spring on and I'm going to add one more uh, metal washer. That is basically it. The last thing I'm gonna do is uh, screw back on this uh, plastic piece. I've uh, assembled everything but before you go slamming the boot uh, let's test it out first. As you can see right here this one uh, closes uh, fine. It's uh, normal to feel a bit of resistance due to the springs but if you can't close it it means that uh, your springs are too long. And uh, finally, let's test it out. I'm gonna hit the trunk button on my remote. And uh, there you go, the boot lid opens automatically. Now this uh, little project only cost me maybe like 5 euros and it was uh, pretty easy to do. That would be all for this video. If you liked it, uh, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing. 